Okay, I'm inside the Digibon game now. Um, all of these models here for the imaginary town of Bad Oberdinkelheim in Germany. Um, I've developed myself using Blender. Um, I textured them using GIMP and uh, I've imported all of these models into Unity 3D. So mostly everything I've used for this project so far has been free and open source. Um, humanity professors have a very small operating budget. So anyway, the whole purpose of a game, uh, a 3D video game to teach German or teach a foreign language, is I think that these games could be used to uh, make more effective instruction. By more effective, that means that students will do better on the assessment, um, that they keep this knowledge, what they learn, longer in their minds, and that they're also able to transfer this knowledge from imaginary settings, so virtual environments, to real-world environments more easily. So, um, what I want to do is to test that hypothesis in the future by uh, well testing this game in a real classroom setting. Fall semester I'm going to be working with some students to uh, get the game interface designed just right and then in spring semester I'm going to go live with the game in a German class. And that's a German 122 or second semester German and essentially what we're going to be doing in class uh, is talking about have a small unit a couple of days on recycling in Germany and about environmental protection. Now the purpose of the game, what they'll want to do in the game is they'll be inserted right around here. They'll be required to go to the city museum. Now they'll ideally in a real world setting you walk over to the city museum look at the Öffnungszeiten, or hours of operation, see that it works, that's open Thursday, or Tuesday through Sunday from 10 to 6 p.m. and ideally just open the door and buy a ticket. However, for the game, uh, in order to see any one of these exhibits right here inside the museum, they're going to have to get a ticket just to get into the door. The question is, how do I get the ticket? What I like to do in the game is have them work against the clock. This right now, this clock right here is permanently stuck at a couple minutes after four. In the game, they're actually going to have about 15-16 minutes before 6 p.m. Uh, they have to have just before the museum closes. Now that clock's going to count down and they're going to get into the try to get into the door but they don't know how. Using their knowledge of what we talked about in class and recycling and trash and environmental protection. You're going to see some bottles and paper lying around. Uh, they're going to use, pick those bottles up using on-screen hints and, and tips in German. They're going to have to sort the trash according to, well, is it trash or paper? Uh, is it a bottle? Is it glass? Is it green? Is it brown? Or is it clear? And to sort it into the appropriate containers. Once that's been successfully done, a uh, student will be rewarded with uh, finding a ticket or someone will come up and give them a ticket and using that ticket they'll be able to get into the door here. So again, the idea is just not just not instruction or not just not a video game to candy coat instruction, but I'm thinking that these games, this immersive 3D simulated environment that somehow res that closely resembles a real German environment uh, that will students are able will be able to couple or connect vocabulary uh, things we talk about in class the learning that takes place there the, uh, the experimentation with that knowledge in a simulated 3D environment one that really looks rather like a, a real German space and uh, that they will have better assessments or well they'll do better on assessments and that it will stay longer in their minds. So we'll find out more about that in the future.